Hey guys, Mordecai here for Straight to the Point Video 3. We're making a wine glass. Alright, so let's get straight to the point. I'm going to maximize my perspective viewport. Alt W. So we're going to take a cylinder. Probably uh, center that. So let's go ahead, left click drag for the base, and we'll make it about. I'll say there. Yeah, that looks good. So you have these boxes, you can have J to hide them, you know, and it, I believe these just show uh, what is selected, right? I tend to work with them off, and F4 to show my geometry. I'm going to go with, I'll do 10 height segments, and uh, I'm, picking, I'm picking 10 because I'm kind of seeing how I'm going to build this wine glass, right? So probably about here is where the glass part like the the holding part of the liquid will be and this will be the thin part right just thinking ahead it's always good to do so come up here go right click convert to edible poly so here we're going to take our vertex right and we will take these ones holding control these ones these ones these ones and we'll take these ones too, right? So I have all these vertexes. Make sure we don't have any unwanted vertexes selected. Right. So we're going to bring them in like this. And as you notice, I only have the X and Y axes selected and not the Z. Right. So we'll go there. Cool. See, now you can already kind of see the shape that you're going for. So now you have this crazy like stretch here and here. So what you want to do is you want to take these edges. There's a couple ways about going about uh, doing this. You can click and drag to select all of these, or you can select one, hold shift and click another one to ring it, or you can select one and then hit this ring button, boop, and boom. See, there's three different ways to go about doing that. So here with this connect button, with all of these edges selected, what it will do, it will it will create an edge that goes all the way around. Okay. If you only have, let's say, three selected, and you hit the connect, it will only like cut the ones that you have um, selected. I guess you would say perpendicularly. I guess. So, but we don't want that. What we want is we want to select all of them. Have that, right? So, we'll go with four, right? And I, I'm picking four because it helps the topology, uh, which is kind of like the distance and the size of each polygon, right? So, this is like one big polygon, right? So, if you were were to think of topology wise like this is a lot bigger or a lot smaller than this right so to help balance out we create more geometry to where the topology looks a lot cleaner it also gives us a lot more to work with All right so now we can kind of play around with this and kind of start shaping so we take one and using the scale tool in the center you can kind of bring it out a little bit you know kind of shape it out so like right here, we'll double click to loop it, bring that out a little bit, see, and now we're getting this nice, smooth, like, transition, you know, and I don't like that, so, right, okay, and then we're going to do the same thing up here, we're gonna select all these, make sure they're all selected, connect, uh, here I'm going to do, we'll do three, cool. So we'll take these ones and see how this looks. And we will start smoothing it out. No? Ah, now we got a goblet. Boom. Now you guys know how to make a goblet too. It's almost identical. Anyways, wine glass. <laughs> take that, bring that in a little bit. See, so now we're making it smooth. Bring that out. And basically you're just kind of shaping it how you want. Yeah, and this is up to you, really. 
Let's see. So. Hmm. This is already looking kind of funny as a wine glass, but eh, that'll work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this top polygon, hit the delete key to delete it. Right? So now you have this wine glass, right? So there's a couple ways of about doing this. Um, depending on you can just go ahead and call that done if you wanted to, but I'm going to show you um, another little trick to help, you know, make things a little more realistic, I guess. So one way to go about doing that is you could take your border, hold shift, drag in, like that, and then with your hit W, have your transform, your movement transform, and you could drag down holding shift, right, and then you can kind of shape it in, you know, like this, bring it down, you know, and then depending on how detailed you want to get, you can continue to uh, shape the inside and then cap it, right? So now you have a legit cup. Or another thing you can do, undo all of that. If you want to do this a lot quicker, but a little less efficient is you go to modifier list and you can shell it, right? Shell, boom, right? So what shell does is it basically takes the geometry you have and it just gives it a <laughs> a shell, you know, like it kind of extrudes it out a little bit as a whole, right? So over here you have your outer amount. See, so if I decrease that to zero, up to you know, like ten, like you can see how it shells, or you can do the inner amount like that, right? See that? See, so now if you go too far, you're going to have geometry that is like kind of clipping into each other, and you don't want that. So you want to be really careful when it comes to that. So we'll just do like that. And there you go. There's a goblet slash wine glass type of thing. Um, one last thing. The shell, you can collapse to. And then it becomes an edible mesh. Just go ahead and right click that and change it back to an edible poly. So if you take off your edges, you know, you can kind of see like these shadows. It looks kind of uh, kind of hard on the shadows, right? One thing you can do is with this selected, you go to polygon and select, select it all. And you have the smoothing groups down here. So if you hit auto smooth, it'll kind of do the job for you. And it kind of smoothens it out a little bit. Cool. And there you go. There is a simple wine glass for you to work with. All right. Well, again, thank you all for watching. Please provide feedback in the comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. And uh, thank you for watching.